Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for August 7th, 2018. So the first card of uh, <clears throat> for the day here which represents the topic of the day at that particular position, then we do have a card representing the negative approach toward the topic or uh, how the, the spread describes it, it is what we should not do uh, due to a particular day. Uh, then afterwards we do have the positive approach or what we should take advantage of, you know, what we should uh, use the day for. Um, it is what the third card, the third position describes and the last one represents the long-term benefit in case we do what we are supposed to here or what we can uh, make a use of. We don't do what the cards advise and therefore we kind of tackle with the topic uh, you know, in a most productive way. So let's see what the topic is going to be. Now we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which represents that the day is going to be um, the whole team of uh, of that particular day is going to be about us uh, not not maintaining control, but becoming more and more independent of a, a foreign factors, of a uh, exterior circumstances and conditions as well, and that could be um, also related to uh, some strings that we may be uh, attached to um, to a certain situation or a person. For example, just to give you an example, that could be repaying back a loan because a loan is a string that you are attached to and it doesn't give you any freedom. So it's all about, you know, obtaining personal freedom here during that particular day uh, throughout which uh, we can now focus more upon our personal life and start making in investments for our personal growth here. Not for the growth of our company, not for the growth of other people, but for our personal growth. Ten of Pentacles uh, kind of represents uh, as well growing into trust uh, with the certain societies and with certain people as well. And in many cases that card also represents the, uh, the regaining uh, or kind of like, yeah, the regaining of the trust of someone that we have lost hope in. So that card also may speak for a certain reconciliation or the very start of one reconciliation where, for example, your girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, ex for that matter, kind of betrayed your trust. They have learned their lesson and now in this particular day they are trying to make some uh, steps towards you so they can prove you that they have changed. But at the very least that card represents a, a comfortability in the sense of that this day should be quite comfortable and uh, it will be a fantastic day for us to think about what we can invest in, especially for our personal growth, as I said. And if you have planned to make any investments during that particular day, they should be very, very successful. Now, talking about the negative approach toward the topic here, we have the Queen of, uh, the Queen of Cups, which instantly tells us that this is a, a day where you should not continue on planning your, your maneuvers here. Whatever you have planned thus far, it is, it is good enough. Queen of Pentacles, it is a very passive card and very inactive card. That being said, whatever um, activity, whatever, whatever the topic is tied to as a, uh, as a circumstances, you know, as an, an event, uh, you have to act upon thinking about it constantly and contemplating upon your emotions how you feel about it it is just going to make you lose the moment it's going to make you you know not being able to seize the not an opportunity here as i said to make a reconciliation for example in case you want to you know or to make a, a very good investment for your business for your house or for your personal comfort uh for that matter so it's it's kind of like uh, that depends Again, uh, what kind of a field uh, this topic is going to take place in your life. But whatever the field is, as soon as you start feeling the, 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 the raising of, uh, um, of the comfortability there and the raising of the um, potential was the word I was searching for. Um, some actions toward consolidating that potential, some actions toward consolidating the growth 
should be taken rather than to just uh, sit back in the shade and try to plan it even further as I said having the Queen of Cups into a negative position points that the plan is just as good as it can be right now and it has to be act upon uh, as soon as these um, fateful circumstances happen on our behalf which are marking you know that the very first steps needs to be taken just for example if this is a about reconciliation because because it is you know the example I'm following here um, if your ex you know make a contact with you during that particular day and they try to explain you know that they have um, change their ways and that they have learned their lesson uh, you need to make a decision here uh, should you cut them off or should they should you give them a chance uh, and the Queen of Cups represents the passive action of doing exactly nothing you know not cutting them loose nor giving them a chance and that will serve no one's favor you're gonna waste your time they're gonna waste their time not to mention that neither of you are gonna feel comfortable in such a present situation so uh, the best um, approach toward the topic here is that we do have temperance and as we said giving a chance it is about making steps forward but without reaching any drastic measures very important here and as we are following the reconciliation um, example that kind of points to a compromise showing solidarity showing compassion or in other words give them a, a second chance if we if that is the example but in general the temperance here points that we need to recognize you know the uh with the job that we're trying to push through there will be always a, a dirty work to be done and as we are going to do the pleasant work as well, the dirty work also needs to be something we need to attend to if we want to get the job done to its full extent to the very end. Uh, the, 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 the temperance card is one of the cards pointing that we need to find, you know, the middle road. As I said, no extreme measures and under an extreme measures, I mean, you know, you should not be prone to a neither side of the conflict entirely but rather you need to try to find a middle ground which is by far away from being passive okay you need to act but in a such way to satisfy yourself and to satisfy to satisfy others especially if um, if it is about investments here, uh, probably it, you know as, as with investments they always um, they are always a prerequisite of um, of negotiation and uh, negotiations excuse me and soon you're going to realize that these negotiations are also involving some benefits for the other side you may not like it at the start but you need to as well rec recognize that if there is nothing in it for the other side and why they should contribute for it as well all right so you don't so you should not ask for um, the the full <clears throat> the the wholeness of the benef the benefits to be entirely for you but also you need to give something for those or to those which are as well helping you to push your things through and are helping you not to be into a, a dead end a dead end situation here as the Queen of Cups represents. <clears throat> and the long term benefits as long as you do that we do have the hangman a very strong card of pointing that it is your situations will be set back on stir especially as that because the hangman is, is in a beneficial state here and, and as a beneficial state uh, we are going to obtain a, a very strong um, different approach or perception of how to approach situations thus far we have end up either failing in it in them excuse me or either we were unable you know to resolve them in any case the hangman is a card pointing that we will be able to kind of trespass a, a certain threshold which were a, a test for us a test meant <coughs> excuse me meant to make us prove that we are capable and not just only capable but as well worthy for a, a certain rewards that the universe is ready to give us very important here is why this is happening you know is that we need to try a new a, an enterprise in our life right now because right now we do have a different perspective upon the things 
and with that different perspective the outcome will be different as well so you should not be afraid to try a new in 7th of August 2018 because if you try a new this time around the result will be as well different as we approach the situation with different perspective and if you have failed in it in the past as with the X now you have a, a very big chance this time around to be a success so that being said this was your daily tarot reading for August 7 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rod signing out now see you next time Bye.